Okay, so in this example, which is also a part of uh, a curvilinear uh, motion in normal and tangential force, I have a block B here having a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms. And it is attached to a vertex A of the right circular cone using a light pole. This is the light pole. The cone, this cone, is rotating at a constant angular rate about Z axis. So this is my Z axis, and this cone is uh, rotating at a constant angular rate such that the block attains a speed of 0 0.5 meters per second. So I know the speed of this block. At this speed, I need to determine the tension of this cord. So at this instant, where the speed is 0 0.5 meters per second, what I have to do is to determine the tension of this cord and the reaction which the cone exerts on the block. And I need to neglect the size of the block and the effect of friction. Okay? So guys, here, I have a curvilinear motion in normal and in a uh, normal tangential in that direction. In fact, guys, in fact, what I'm going to uh, look at is the plane of Z tangential, sorry, Z normal. So if I take, guys, the plane of Z normal, I take this triangle, let's say. If I take this plane here, this triangle, all right? So this plane, which is the middle plane of this uh, cone and I draw all my forces and all the dimensions given here uh, guys I'm gonna take this as C so I'm gonna solve it in a general form right because you're gonna face a lot of uh, uh, this problem the same problem with different dimensions different velocity different mass so I'm gonna uh, solve it in a general so you can apply it on any uh, given and I'm gonna call this B the whole distance here as B and this distance as A. All right? Now, I draw a triangle, this triangle, right? So it's rotated. So this is my triangle, where this is B, this is A, then this distance right here, the whole distance right here, will be equal to radical b squared plus a squared. Now, I'm going to draw the small triangle of this block B here. So if I draw this a small triangle, I'm going to also flip it. And I'm going to change its uh, color. This triangle right here has this length as C. And I have my block right here at the point. OK? So from similarity, guys, I can say that C, this length here over the whole length, which is radical, b squared over a plus a squared. You're going to see why, guys, I'm using the similarity ratio. Is equal to this distance right here over a. But what is this distance? And why should I find it? What is this distance? Guys, I'm taking this plane here, which is in the middle plane of the cone. What is this distance from this point to the center? I know, guys, that this block is rotating like this around this Z, which means, guys, that this distance from this point to the center is the radius of curvature at this plane. So this is the radius of curvature done by this block while rotating around this Z, All right? Which means, guys, that this distance here is R. This is the radius of curvature, which is constant here. So R will be equal to A times C over radical B squared plus A squared. Why do I need this R? Because, in fact, I need AN. I know the velocity, so AN will now be known. It is V squared 
over r. So it is not. Okay. Now, guys, if I want to take this, uh, this figure right here and put the forces, right? I'm going to put the forces now. So I'm going to put now the forces applied on the block. What are the forces? I have the weight. I have the normal force perpendicular to the cone. And I have the tension of the rope that I need to find. And since, guys, I need to apply this in the normal direction, which is right here. So this is the normal direction. So it's convenient to find this angle between the tension and the normal direction. Now, since I know that this is uh, uh, A, this angle is equal to this angle, and I know that this is A and this is B, then this angle that I'm going to call theta, theta will be equal to theta prime, which is here. This is theta prime. And this will be equal to 10 minus 1, or A10, 10, 10 minus 1 of the whole B over the whole A. So now, guys, I know theta because I know B and A. So if I want to apply sum of Fn is equal to Man, this will give me what? This will give me that minus n. What is the angle? If this is the theta, then this is 90 minus theta, which means minus n sine theta plus c cosine theta is equal to man, which is known, mv squared over r. Now, this is the sum of uh, forces in normal direction. Now, what about the sum of forces in z direction? Because this is the plane of nz, all right? In z direction, sum of fz is equal to zero because there is no az. Az is always equal to zero, right? If you remember from kinetics, which means, guys, that minus w plus t sine theta doing the projection, all right, plus n cosine theta is equal to zero. So now, guys, I have two equations to announce that are n and t. So these are my equations. My unknowns are only n and t. I can find them. And this will give me that t is equal to 1.82 and n will be equal to 0 0.84. Any questions, guys? So I know it's all complicated, but I want you to imagine, guys, because in fact, the tangential here, the tangential direction will be to my side. If I take this plane, this will be the normal to the center of the circle. And this is Z, right? So this is N, Z. Now the tangential will be to my side. Okay? So that's it, guys.